Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, I will be talking about Salesforce Pro for Service. So what is basically Salesforce Pro for Service? It is basically a, a set of steps that uh, you configure and you provide these steps to your agents to perform whenever a case comes in your call center. So there could be some mandatory steps, there could be some optional steps and they, there will be the order as well. So they have to perform these steps in a specific order. So uh, the applications of using this uh, uh, Salesforce Pro for services, uh, first is you want to standardize the process of uh, handling the cases in your organization. Second would be uh, it could help your new joined agents to understand the process which uh, your company is following. Okay. And third could be you want to uh, you want your agents to perform some sort of safety or uh, regulatory or compliance related task as well when they are working on the case. So these could be some of the applications where you can make use of this uh, uh, Salesforce flow for service. So in order to create this, you have to go to setup and you have to search for actions and recommendations. So as I said, it is just a set of steps that you are providing your agents to take action when uh, they are working on the case. Okay. So I'll just create a new deployment here. Click next. Let's give it a name as FCR steps. FCR is nothing but the first call resolution. Okay. And uh, in that actions and recommendations, what exactly uh, comes basically? So in the actions, it could be your screen flow. It could be your quick actions like uh, log a call or send an email. And what could be in the recommendations? So in recommendations could be based on the uh, issue of the customer. The system could provide the uh, benefit plan or some sort of product to uh, some sort of product uh, it can suggest to the uh, agent to accept it or reject it but that i will not be using it because to do that we need to have the einstein next to best action in the system which i don't have currently so i'll just go with the flows in quick actions click next now whatever actions you are performing and those actions are related to which object those objects you need to select over here so currently i'm just going to log a call on a case and uh, send an email from a case so i'll just select the case object here click next now here comes the uh, main configuration. This is the uh, channel uh, and, well, uh, and, and as well as what actions you are going to define for the channel. So chat and phone channel are provided over here and one channel is default. So in our case, I'm just going with the default. On the right side, you can see the actions and recommendations pan. So here you have to put what uh, actions uh, you want to provide to your agent to take upon and what recommendations uh, you want to showcase to your agents so in our case recommendations anyway we are not we have not selected so only actions we are going to put so let's say for the pinned uh, section i am going to put the log a call action log a call quick action on the case and i also want it to be a mandatory step okay so I'll just select it and I'll click on mark mandatory. Okay. So now let's move on to the further action. So next action I would like my agent to follow or to perform is the email quick action. So I'll put it over here. That's it. Now click next. Now this is the list of uh, some other screen flows or auto launched flows or quick actions that uh, you will allow your agent to see or select and perform if uh, they are not available in this in these sections okay so basically this is uh, extra actions that are available for your agents to take upon okay so there will be a button on the section on the record page so on click of that uh, button this list will come so agents can select and perform that action so that's it that's the configuration i'll just save it and it is done. I'll just close it. Now let's go to the lightning app builder of the case record. So in order to put it on the page, you have to drag and drop this actions and recommendations component 
and here you have to select which is the deployment so our deployment is fcr steps so as you can see log a call and email uh, is starting to uh, is starting to show here so i'll just save it now let's go to a case and let's refresh so on the right side i can see the actions and recommendations okay and the actions are not coming properly so let me just save it again and let me do a hard refresh it's still not coming let me try logging it out and logging it again sometimes it can happen because of uh, uh, your page is not loading properly so just try logging out and logging in again so i'll just go to service again and i'll go to case step i'll open a case or let's see one more thing okay so this here is the email is origin that could be the possible reason which is why i'm not seeing the proper actions here so let's go to some other case this is phone okay so for phone it is coming so that is uh, the origin is basically uh, is basically the reason why i'm not i was not seeing the proper actions or recommendation so that is something uh, the configuration thing although i have given for default but it is still uh, uh taking in consideration of the origin basically the email origin so it is showing some other actions for that so anyway that you can configure as well so uh now i can see these actions as you can see the log a call action is the mandatory one red asterisk mark mark is there and uh, the email action is there so let's go to this action and click view action so you can see log a call action has opened so i'll just say test in the comments i'll select the contact and i'll save it so once you do that it will the it will check your this action and you can see this action has been performed in your history as well so log a call action is started and log a call action completed now let's perform another action as well email one some test click send that is done so check mark had come in the history just refresh it so email has started and email has completed okay so that's how basically this uh, uh, salesforce flow for service works and now uh, the thing which i was talking about the add button so that is this button on click of this you can see all these actions are available available for your agent to make use of let's say now i am selecting some uh, let's say get uh, or file upload on contacts account i'm not sure whether it's going to work or not but yeah let's try so as you can see it has opened whatever action has been configured on this button so it has opened up let me select some file click done and finish so like that and now it will come over here and in the history as well so file upload on contact account is started and file upload on contact account completed so that is basically the extra actions available for your agent to perform okay and the history as well uh, will be maintained for those actions as well so basically these kind of uh, actions you can perform using this actions and recommendations basically which is called salesforce flow for service and uh, as i said there are many applications of using it it could be related to a standardized process to follow it could be related to uh, provide the necessary steps to take for your new agents it could be related to some sort of saf safety regulation or compliance related tasks to be performed on each case by the agent so that there, there you can make use of this amazing feature of service cloud so that was all about this video if you find this video help uh, uh, helpful then please like it and comment on it if you have any queries for more please subscribe to my channel as sales wars thank you